Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on. That's my dude. Why would I ever tell my crush that I like him? <laughs> I'm Darren Barnett, I play Paxton Hall Yoshida. I'm Maitreyi Ramakrishnan, and I play Davey. And I'm Jaren Lewison, and I play Ben Gross. Hi, I'm Megan Suri, and I play Anissa. My name is Ramona Young, and I play Eleanor Wong. My name is Lee Rodriguez, and I play Fabiola Torres. Hi, I'm Richa Morjani, and I play Kamala. Hi, I'm Purna Jagannathan, and I play Nalini Wishwakumar. What are you most excited for audiences to see in season three? I don't know. Boink. Oh, we stole that. Take my word. Sorry. It's a good one. Okay. Wow. Boo? Is that what you said? Yeah. Okay. And then I'll say crappy. <laughs> <laughs> they all make sense when we watch the season. Yeah. It all makes sense. Mm -hmm. Crappy. Oh, well, I just got that. Hey. That the triangle goes into a rectangle in terms of the love interests. New hot Indian guy. So hot. Anissa become more of the queen that she is. Strip mm. her pole. <laughs> yes. Bathroom. Ooh. Ooh. Which character from the show would you be friends with in real life? <laughs> We're just all like, no Ooh. one. Huh. I am friends with Kamala in real life. <laughs> Very, very. She's one of my best I'm friends. I'm actually come along. Really. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Shapiro, because he's just so funny. Oh, and Trent. And Trent. Trent. Trent <laughs> Harrison, baby. Come on. That's my dude. Yeah, you got to be friends with Trent. Yeah, that's true. Although it would be a lot of like difficulty understanding each other. <laughs> yeah. I would want to be friends with, this is going to sound so bad, but like, Anissa? But then also like Fabiola, because I feel like Fabiola would be so easy to talk to mm. and just like welcoming. Mm. Fabiola. I love Fabiola so much. She's just so great. Fabiola. I'd probably say Eleanor and Anissa, because I feel like they'd both be really fun. I didn't know we could pick more than one. Yeah. Your dream guest celebrity teacher at Sherman Oaks High. Steve Carell teaching Business 101. Oh, that was so good. I've thought about this. Kate Beckinsale teaching anything. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna go with Morgan Freeman teaching history. Quinta. I've seen what she does on Abbott. Like, just to like marry a little bit of Abbott Elementary into Never Have I Ever. I would love to have Shah Rukh Khan. Oh! <laughs> he would be a fantastic teacher at our school. And so funny. <gasps> oh, and Mindy. We'd love to have Mindy, and Mindy. as a teacher. Yes. Come on. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Iron Man. Michael B. Jordan. Oh! Ooh. Oh. Would you rather tell your crush you like them or tell your parents about your crush? Tell my crush that I like them, 100%. Tell your crush you like them. Yeah, I'm done with that. Tell my parents about my crush. Me and my mom are tight. Why would I ever tell my crush that I like them? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd rather tell my crush that I like them. All right. What's the least favorite trait about your character? Ben can be a bit harsh. I think he's gonna say it just can be a dick. That too. I didn't yeah. know if I was allowed to say that. He's a bit of an asshole sometimes. I'll, I'll say it for you. We love him though. What the hell? Davy can just not think things through sometimes. She can just be a little of a fiery. But I also do like that about her too, so. Paxton has a good heart, but I think he can be sometimes dim-witted and just not dim. aware. So that gets frustrating, but <laughs> it's fun. I think my character can be very blinded by it's very no nonsense and just just um, strict and all that. I have a 16 year old son and you have to really shift who you are constantly to keep up with them and what they need. So this season I've, we see Nani finding the courage to do that. It's just the fact that Kamala is always afraid of doing things that she wants to do because she's afraid that it'll upset the people around her and because that's something that I personally deal with so much in my own life. So at the same time though, I will say it's incredible to see how much she's grown with that because I feel like I've grown alongside her. And then last thing, the favorite thing about the person sitting next to you. My tree is the hardest working person that I think I've ever met in my entire life. And she does it with like so much grace and kindness. Like she is like the definition of like a natural leader. Okay, thank you. That was really nice. Sorry. Okay. Oh, Darren knows how much I love him and adore him. Truly, I would do anything for this man. He is like my brother. I, yeah, family. And I've told you this. We are freaking family. Yeah. And I'm just so proud of him and everything that he's done and how hard he has worked.
to be here. Jaron, I say this all the time. He's so he's got so much spunk. <laughs> he is Funky. just always such a, a delight to be around. He makes me smile. He makes me laugh. Um, <laughs> he's so much energy, which sometimes I just want to like. <laughs> kind of hit him in the gut for a minute and be like, slow down, bro, it's 6 a.m. I'm not trying to do this, but it wakes me up. And uh, he's always just great energy. And I, I think that's very admirable. And I love that. Thanks, dude. Yeah. My favorite thing about Ramona is that she, especially with me being a new person, she goes out of her way to make sure that everyone's included. Like she makes sure that you're part of the conversation. She makes sure that you're just, you're heard and she's there when she listens to you. So I would say that's my favorite part about you. Oh, that's so sweet. It's true. It's true. <laughs> My favorite thing about Lee is that uh, she is a ride or die. Mm. Mm. Great friend. Awesome human being. My favorite thing about Megan is mm -hmm. that she's so like fun and easy to talk to and you automatically feel like a sense of comfortability with Megan. Yeah. And she's really fun too. Yeah. Thank you. It's so nice. Her heart. Oh my God, I, I can't answer this. I've never met a person like Richa who has taken such a huge, occupies so much space in my heart and mind. And she's loving and true and courageous and talented and really the most beautiful woman I've ever said, ever laid eyes on.